Eyeball is sponsored by Legal and General Investments. Poor old Michael Grade, Executive Chairman of ITV. He's a martyr to puns. Failing to make the grade, that kind of thing. And when ITV's results are as poor as they were last week, the headline writers have a field day. But it has to be said that the cigar-chomping exec's attempt to put a gloss on a 35% slide in pre-tax profits was about as successful as ITV's relaunch of News at 10. Leaving aside the fact that some of its programmes are indescribably awful, I mean, did anybody watch Rock Rivals? The main problem for ITV1 is that its advertising revenue continues to fall. In 2006, it fell by 12%. In 2007, it fell by a further 4%. You see, youngsters, like me, now spend more time online than watching the goggle box. So advertisers are shifting a lot of their cash from the TV to the internet. It's a worrying trend for a TV company. Not so bad if you're an internet-based TV show, but I'm not one to boast. And this concern has been reflected in the share price. Since May 2007, it's practically halved, falling from 121.5p to around 65p now. That's two billion quid down the swanee. At least shareholders didn't have their 3.15p full year dividend cut. Whoopity do. But hey, let's take a great leap of faith and look on the bright side. This is a company that still brings in revenues of around two billion a year. And its three digital channels actually managed to increase ad revenue by 33% to 209 million pounds. ITV1 might have lost viewers, but BBC1 and BBC2 did even worse. As for channels 4 and 5, they're shedding audience faster than a Spice Girls comeback tour. And at least ITV is trying to get with this interweb thingy. It's launched a broadband TV service, and it bought social networking pioneer Friends Reunited. Yes, the same Friends Reunited that's now losing members to newcomers like Facebook, Bebo and MySpace. OK, so good news is pretty hard to find. And that's probably why most analysts are only recommending holding the stock. Well, the best that can be said for Grade is that he is steadying the ITV ship and slowing the rate of decline. But if the fragile economy forces advertisers to slash budgets in 2008, ITV could get another kicking. Not an inspiring picture for investors. It's just a thought that maybe more budget should be put aside to make and buy high-quality programs that people actually want to watch. But please, please, please not another Dickens costume drama. It'll only lead to more puns. Like great expectations, perhaps.